Gets his luck around the neck. Blood spraying over the cuff. And he's out! Actually up by two points. Yeah. He's actually up by two points. Oh, and Imanari rolled wow. from the man here. I mean, he's got the choke. Oh, he's, he's, he's under right the neck. Under that he's under sensation. the neck. He's under the neck. King of Pancras champion. Can Arikawa peel it off and come back? Ito needs to move with a sense of urgency here. Looking for, to reverse with a takedown, but Ito reverses again. 30 seconds left in the first round here. Now he decides to go for the next age. You know, Ito looking like he just wants he's to choose when chin. he's going to finish he's it. And he chin. is going to take it here. Will he tap? Yes, he does. Take it out. taps out. Seiji no Ito will get a shot at the flyweight King of Pankers Championship. Yet to be announced, but wow. he has proved himself. Seconds in round one by way of rear naked choke. Seiji no Ito is victorious. Wow. This Immediately trying to scramble up on out of there, Naoki Arikawa. Seijiro, single leg, he's got a single leg on, he's got an underhook on, now he changes to a uh, mode right here. Yeah, a little bit of cut from the bridge of the nose. There's a lot of odd coming out, right? nothing, nothing that's getting in his eyes so far. Right. Oh, I'm getting a neck crank here. He has a lot of options from here. And he's got the choke. Oh, he's, he's, he's right under the neck. He's under the neck. He's the King of Pancras champion. Can Arikawa peel it off and come back? It's not possible. He's gone out. Sent to the Shadow Realm. The skills, the experience of Seichiro Ito just shone through. But it's the brave bonus and KOP win that will make him a happy man. That bumps up his fight purse hugely. Uh, excellent, Bert. Christmas present for Seichiro Ito. And he's looking slightly emotional, a side that we haven't seen. And there off the bat there, Ryozawa like getting in the face, throwing heavy he's punches. Connecting. The leather is going into the face, now dropping down for a single leg, Imura. And he gets it. Manages to get a hold of him. This is where Imura is oh, so dangerous. Straight onto almost, the back, Rui Imura has the rear naked and he's choke, under the and chin. he's going to finish this off here. And it's all over! Just over one minute into this, Ryo Yazawa blows his load, and Rui Imura takes the back. Our fade in the training going up to that last fight, which he lost and got caught in the last, the first and last submission loss I'm ever going to take. He comes in here, he weathers the storm, that rear naked choke right out of the chin. So smooth, so slick. Looks like he charges in for a double leg. Pushes oh. Otsuka against the cage. It's Oksuka going for a guillotine. He's got the right. body lock on. And he's under the chin. I can't see the grip on the side. It looks tight. It looks pretty tight. That's, That's a tap. It. That's it's over. it. That's it's it. Over. Excellent guillotine choke from Akasaki. Here's a replay again. Akasaki charges in for that double leg with his head down. That is the worst position to shoot a takedown if you're a wrestler or especially if you're in MMA because it, it leaves you open to this. Oh, sneaks in a juicy guillotine and gets the tap. I don't often see that. Kisamiyaki always switching things up. He's got the rear naked in. Looks like Sakurai's got his chin down. Look at the yeah. victory. Can he hang on? There's just 10 seconds. He might and tap, but instead of tapping, he goes to sleep. Kisa Miyake with the victory, the number eight ranked featherweight with a submission victory. There was no tap out. He went to sleep, but it's a win nonetheless. And here we see his opponent. Straight under the sleep. chin. Round the neck. Strangled him out. Let's see. And arguably, this, this is where they, they both he could have this here, guy. This is getting very tight. It looks close. I see a little bit of space on, on, on the right side of, of Imura's ear, but, you know. Imura's feeling the pressure. Yeah. He's a tap. He's got it. Oh, my God. He has got it. Wow. Yes, Imura wow. with the finished submission victory. Wow. The Darce Choke taking out oh, Rui Imura Lord. quickly in that. Form. A lot of times you see Darce Choke from, from half guard or from... from uh, Breaking his three-fight win streak. That is a powerful state. Which is actually up by two points. Yeah. He's actually up by two points. Oh, and Himanari actually up by two points. Yeah. He's actually up by two points. Oh, and Himanari roll wow. from the man here. Have you ever seen a welterweight go for an Imanari roll? And he's on the knee bar. He's on the, and, and he taps! taps! 
That'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. I know some guys that train over at Hearts, and they're kind of notorious for their training sessions. Now Nakata's got a guillotine choke going yeah, right now. Yeah, it looks pretty deep. That was four seconds left in the round. And he's got one leg hook. Is that enough? No, that is not enough. Is he unconscious? He's unconscious. Oh wow, he's out. Wow, <laughs> passed him out. Not the tapping. There's only four right. seconds left in the round. Ah. My goodness, Nakata with the team there put Miyake to sleep within seconds. You see from where his left hand is and how deep he had that choke in. Wow, excellent choke, excellent win from Nakata. He's got to be happy because... It's either way. Yamagawa got under that hook of Asami there and dumps him down. Doesn't quite get enough time to get the hooks in. And he now finds his right arm being threatened, the arm bar from Ryo Asami. Very dangerous spot here. Oh, he taps, taps on! Ryo Asami wins! It's either way. Yanagawa got under that hook of Asami there and dumps him down. Doesn't quite get enough time to get the hooks in. And he now finds his right arm being threatened. The arm bar from Ryo Asami. Very dangerous Ryo spot here. Oh, he taps, taps on! Ryo Asami wins! Throws his mouth guard to the fence. And the crowd go mental. All his fans jump for Asami with it undefeated Yanagawa, who's finished all four of his opponents so far. That's right. I mean, the momentum was in, in his favor, you know. He's got youth, he's got skills, he's on a winning streak. But look at this arm bar, so tight. It was very, very tight, very, very deep. And Yanagawa had no time, no option but to tap out. A very emotional real Asami here now. He's close to getting out. Nice spin around. Yes, yeah, that was beautiful from... Kawamura. And he does look good in this division. Looking at fighting guys in the featherweight division that are over 180 centimeters. Nakanishi with good awareness there. Beautifully. Spin around, like you said, he found himself up in this. Setting up that triangle. That arm 20 seconds left. This looks tight. Kawamura's going to pass out. He's he passed out. He's he out. Does. He's, He's out. out. He's out. He's won it. Doki Taka Nakanishi takes the second. King of Pankos championship belt in his career. The featherweight championship, and now the bantamweight king of Bankers champion here today. Takitaka Nakanishi put his opponent to sleep and scores the belt. Finds the back of Shinsuke Kamei. Lift and drop, it's straight to that arm. He's on the arm. Straight now. to the arm. This is where Shinsuke Kamei doesn't want to be. Can and he's got the scissors, scissor lock around the neck. Blood spraying over the cafe. And he's out. He's out. Shinsuke Kamei goes to sleep. have a new King of Pancras featherweight champion Guy Delamo here at Pancras 337. Amazing. If you ask, if you told me this is going to happen five years ago, I would say no way. Look, this kid made it happen. Highlight reel finish. Another leg scissors choke added to his 